What is the .NET Aspire dashboard? I'm Leslie Richardson from the .NET team, and we are going to learn all about the dashboard and how you can take advantage of it. So let's check it out. So you might have noticed that when you run your Aspire application, you automatically get this pretty cool looking window that pops up in your web browser. And this is the .NET Aspire dashboard. This is your one-stop shop for all things app diagnostics and monitoring, making it very easy to inspect the various states and statuses of your application as it's running in real time. So this dashboard comes packed with a lot of really cool features and pages and tools for you. So let's take a look at some of them. First up, we've got the resources page, which gives you info and a list of all the different projects, databases, containers, and other kinds of resources that make up your Aspire app. And from there, you can also check out the console logs page, which lets you view all the logs being sent to standard output for each of those resources, making it very easy for error handling or health monitoring. But if you wanted to have a more detailed or structured logging experience, you can check out the Structured Logs page, which is based on OpenTelemetry. And this lets you view queryable things such as message logs or message parameters. And you can learn more about that in the telemetry video in this series. Traces are really good for when you want to pinpoint performance problems or failures, especially when they span multiple processes and machines. So the Traces page lets you see all the distributed traces in one spot and you can even view all the different requests that are being passed through each resource as well as their durations via graph, which I think is really nice. Graphs automatically make everything fancier, in my opinion. <laughs> and speaking of graphs, last but not least, you've also got the metrics page, which lets you view auto-configured metrics for each of your resources, either via graph or via table. And that can be great for when you want to check out health monitoring over time or performance over time, for instance. And of course, we can't forget the ability to change theme. I personally like dark mode, but you can choose between light mode or whatever your system currently has. So whatever floats your boat. And if you love all of this stuff and you think the dashboard seems really cool and really useful, but you don't have an Aspire app set up just yet, no worries. The good news is that you can make this dashboard standalone. So we do have documentation explaining how you can use the Aspire dashboard with your non-Aspire applications. So, there's no excuse for being able to have a good time debugging and inspecting your app. And speaking of documentation, if you want to learn more about the .NET Aspire dashboard or .NET Aspire All Up, be sure to check out our documentation on it and also be sure to check out the rest of this Aspire series. So thanks y'all and happy coding. <laughs>